Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's D from Busy with D, and today I'm posting my first ever clean with me on my channel, so I'm very excited about that. I'm actually cleaning our game room today, and this room has been under construction for a while and will be later on in in the future, but we recently did a board and batten wall. I believe that's what it's called. You'll see um, a few clips of it later on in the video, but it is the wall behind the sofa. We left the room a complete mess. Like there's paint swatches on the floor from where we were trying to decide which color to paint the wall. There's trim on the floor for where we pulled the, like the trim and the baseboards from around the, um, the door and the floor to put the board on the wall. Yeah, so it's, it's a mess. We have, uh, clothes we have kids toys just all kind of things in this room some stuff that needs to be thrown away and we took the screens off the windows to let some of the um dust and air out from when we were working so yeah this room was a complete disaster and i just decided to throw on a youtube cleaning video for some inspiration i'll leave the channel in the description box below the video that's on the tv and yeah i just it just put me in the mood to clean it's really 11 o'clock at night guys and I was going to put it off until the next day, but I decided, you know, let's just get this done. I'm not tired. And it was actually my birthday, I think the day before. And that's why you see the 30 balloons there that I had in the beginning. So, you know, I had nothing else to do. So I decided to just go ahead and knock this room out. Hey guys, if you look under that Santa stop here Christmas sign that I forgot to put away in the attic with all the other Christmas stuff, there is one of many pretty blue stains on the carpet. I'm not going to say who did it, but we have stains on our new carpet. I am going to uh, shampoo the carpet to try to get those stains out. You actually see me vacuuming later in the video. I'm not going to try to make pretty vacuum lines because I know I have to come behind there and shampoo the carpet. All right, so this screen here gave me a little trouble. I did not know how to put it back in, honestly. I didn't take them out, so I wasn't familiar with how they were put in. So I struggled with it for a little bit, which is what you're watching now. And I eventually just went to one of my daughter's room, rolled up, I mean, pulled up her window, looked at how they had it in there, and then came back. And then I popped those four in with no problem. By the way, I am wearing this cozy little Christmas onesie in spring because I was cold and I was the only one in the house that was cold. So I decided to throw that on so I could get comfortable and start cleaning. Okay, so here some of this wood has um, brad nails in it and it's actually from the trim around the room, the trim in the border. So first I'm going to get the wood that has that doesn't have any nails in it because I don't have my gloves. And then you'll see me come back and get the wood with the nails just so I can make sure that I don't poke myself. When I have a huge mess like this, I really enjoy tackling one side of the room, getting it all clear that way I can see the progress and that will motivate me to move on to the other side of the room. I have a pile for clothes, a pile for the kids toys, a pile for tools and that just keeps me organized and I don't have to continue to leave the room to go put things away.
Okay, on this side, most of the stuff belongs downstairs. So I'm again, just grouping it into piles for where I need to take it. Um, there are two large two by fours, which is what we use for our sawhorse um, to like cut wood on and things like that. So that is going to the garage. Our tool bag, I'm going to put all of the tools in it, take that to the garage and the little scrap pieces of wood, some of them will go in the trash. Others we will keep for projects or for um, our girls, they like to build things and that will go in the garage. When we first moved into our house, our builder showed us um, this feature on the window, how it opens like that. And I had no idea what it was for, but it really makes cleaning the windows super easy. So this carpet is pretty new. We've only been in our house for about seven months. So I want to keep the carpet smelling fresh. So I am sprinkling baking soda on the floor, letting that sit for about five minutes, and then I'll vacuum it up. Because this is where our kids play and they love to play on the floor, I wanna make sure the carpet is as fresh as possible. All right guys, so funny story. I am definitely vacuuming the carpet. You can see me vacuuming it now. But I forgot to get a video of the whole room clean and with the carpet vacuuming and all of that. So I came back to get it the next day when I'm edit when I was editing the video and this is how the carpet looked because my kids had been playing in there all day and I didn't get a chance to shampoo the carpet. So that is why it looks like that. But the carpet is clean and I definitely vacuumed it and I'm going to shampoo the carpet. Remember that paint I mentioned in the beginning of the video? There it is. It's called Ice Blue from um, Bear. I'm not fully sold on the color. I wanted it to be a little bit darker, but you guys let me know what you think about the color in the description, I mean, in the comment section below. And that is the wall that we did. We also did that chalk wall, but um, we have a video of the blue wall on our family channel and I'll leave that above and I'll also link it in the description box. So on this side of the room over here, I left that um, basket or that tub of, it's full with school, like school things like paper, flashcards, all kind of puzzles and stuff like that. I left that there because we plan on putting a built-in on that entire wall. So the school things will be in the bottom shelf below and then there'll be shelves all the way up to the top. So that's why that's over there and I didn't really do too much to it. Here is our game room closet. It is semi-organized. I just have to tweak it here and there. I really want to maximize the space and I just haven't quite figured it out yet. But once I do, I can post a video on that as well. So that is all for this video. I really enjoy doing clean with me. So I'm pretty sure I'll have more on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time.